I think that's what makes the movie kind of terrifying. I mean, had he been caught, it would sort of be like, why tell the story or why is that relevant now? And I think um, it's sort of what allows for it. To, it's, it's so original in that, that like, okay, it's a movie that's sort of not, it's not a spook fest, it's all very real. It hasn't been a killing like this in this area for years. I'm putting this whole mess in your hands. People are scared, Matt. I'm more scared than you know. It leaves a lot of room for interpretation and speculation since they never caught the guy. And, you know, we, we've been talking about who, who could be. I mean, it might not even be a male. It might be, you know, a, an old person at the time. It could have been a young kid at the time. So it's, your imagination kind of goes wild thinking about what this person was like and who they were. Parish. This is the Zodiac speaking. I will go on a kill rampage Friday night. I will cruise around all weekend, killing lone people in the night, then move on to kill again. I've heard the name, but I never knew anything about him. I knew broad strokes, like he was in Northern California, and um, like had heard sort of like the letters to the newspaper and stuff. But like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know he hadn't been caught. You just assume that he had. I, I didn't. Know. He didn't kill out of passion. He didn't kill out of anger. He shot him at random just because they were there. Here is part of a cipher. I want you to print this on the front page of your paper. In this cipher is my identity. But it's such an old thing in cinema, you know, the fear of the unknown. Yeah. What's behind that door? Um, I think that that's, you know, sort of, you know, ground zero, you know, scare fest. <laughs> and I think it'll make people in the theater sort of turn, look at the person next to him like, hmm. for a good movie about me. Who will play me?